Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 3 of integration series. Now in today's lecture, I'll be taking a previous KVPY question which came in the year 2010. Now the question is, find the value of the integral that is integration from 0 to 2 pi and instead of giving a function they have given, we have to find the minimum of mod of x minus pi and cos inverse of cos of x. After finding this, we can calculate the integral and given four options, one of them is correct. So let's Now in order to calculate the integral from 0 to 2 pi, first we need to define the function from 0 to 2 pi. That is for both of them, mod of x minus pi and cos inverse of cos of x. So the best way to find the minimum is, I'm not going to check for individual values. The best way is to draw the graph of both functions, given value from 0 to 2 pi and superimpose the graph and then find the minimum. That is the best way in this case. So let's start with the graph of cos inverse of cos of x. So this is our x axis, this is our y axis. And first, I'm going to get a branch that is minus x it will give you minus x when x is from 0 to 2 minus pi and then it will give you x this branch when the inside value that is x will be from 0 to pi because we can go till maximum because the range of cos inverse will be pi and at this value you will also get pi now when you are going to take x more than pi the branch is going to take change because cos inverse of cos of x will not give you x because the range of cos inverse is maximum is pi. So after this the branch will change like this. This point is 2 pi and you will get this as 2 pi minus x here. Now next is after you exceed to 2 pi then again the branch will change to x minus 2 pi here and it goes so on. This will be till 3 pi. Now I have done the graph of cos inverse of cos of x. Now I am going to do the graph of mod of x minus pi. So mod of x minus pi will be similar to mod of x. It just shifted right towards pi. So first branch is this and the second branch is this which I have marked here for pi. So let's define both of the branches. Both of the branches is uh, one minute. The first branch is which is right on side of pi is this will be x minus pi and on the left hand side of pi this will be I think pi minus x. So I've defined the graph. Now I'm going to define the minimum of both of them. So for that, as I told you, we're going to superimpose both of them and then we find the minimum from 0 to 2, 2 pi because the integrate we have to integrate from 0 to 2 pi. So let's calculate the minimum from 0 to 2 pi. As I move from 0, the minimum will be cos inverse of cos of x that is equal to x and after this point, so let's calculate this point because after this point the branch is changing. So when these two functions are equal, when x and pi minus x are equal, when x and pi minus x are equal, the value of x will be equal to pi by 2. So simply I can say this point will be pi by 2. And after this, the branch will change to mod of x minus pi. Now after pi, again the branches will remain same. Okay. But the function will change here. That is, it will be pi minus x minus pi here. After this point, this point will be using symmetry you can say 3 pi by 2 or you can equate pi minus x minus pi to 2 pi minus x immediately you will get 3 pi by 2. Right after this the branch will change to cos inverse of cos of x that is 2 pi minus x. So now we have defined the function now we can easily integrate the function. So integration of this will be we as you can see we have to divide into four parts. The first part will be integration from 0 to pi by 2. From 0 to pi by 2 the function is x here d of x plus when you integrate from pi by 2 to when you integrate from pi by 2 to pi the function is pi minus x now next is when you integrate from pi to 3 pi by 2 the function is x minus pi here and for the last one integration from 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi the branch is cos inverse of cos of x which will give you 2 pi minus x here or or else you can do one more thing you can calculate the area of four triangles so if you calculate the area of four triangles you will get this as 4 multiplied by pi square by 8 that is one more way to calculate as I have given you integ through integration you will end up getting the same answer so 4 into pi square by 8 will give you pi square by 2 and that will be our final answer and that